Good afternoon, boys and girls, and welcome to another story time with me, Miss Dead. Um, remember, last week we began looking at a brand new reading strategy, and um, the name of that is a very long word. It has 13 letters. Can anybody remember the name of this reading strategy? Mm, yes. Yes, yes. V, E, Z, U, L, I, Z, S, H, I, Z, a lot of different math movements going on there. We are visualizing, which basically means making a movie inside of our minds. Okay? We do this a lot. And for this, we need two things. We need to use what we already know about the world, how it works, that leaves on trees are in the spring and the summertime green that the sun shines brightly in the sky and is yellow, that a hippopotamus is a big grey animal with large nose holes, otherwise known as nostrils. And we also need to use uh, our imagination, okay? The things that we can actually dream up, think of, uh, create ourselves, like our own little fantasy world. Okay, You might read comics when you're at home, and often those comics will be made up stories with made up characters that don't really exist in this world that we live in. Okay, So visualisation is a bit of both of those things. All right? uh, I'll show you my um, little poster that I made from last week. Okay, so this over here is your brain, all right? And this, these light bulbs here are all of the things that you know. There are only five there. You guys know a whole lot more than that, but that's just to show all of the things that you already know, okay? And then we're gonna add that to what's over here, and that is imagination. This person is reading a book and then imagining um, what is happening in picture form, okay? So use what you know with what you can imagine. And I would like you to do another drawing today. Uh, remember, it's not an art lesson. The drawing doesn't have to be super perfect. What I really want you to concentrate on is showing me that you've understood this part of the story. Okay, so it's part two of The Enormous Crocodile by Roald Dahl. He's one of my favourite authors. Um, if you remember from last week, The Enormous Crocodile is in the muddiest river in Africa, along with the not-so-big one, another crocodile. And The Enormous Crocodile was telling the not-so-big one how he loves to eat little children. Uh, and then he was uh, going to go off to find his lunch in the nearest town. So that's where we got to last time around. Uh, so let's see if we can listen very carefully. If you'd like to draw uh, your picture while you're listening, then grab yourself a uh, piece of paper and most importantly a pencil, perhaps some coloured pencils just in case you want to colour some parts of your picture. Um, you can also listen now to the story and uh, do your drawing afterwards. Okay. So, a gigantic creature was standing in the slimy, oozy mud on the riverbank. It was Humpy Rumpy the Hippopotamus. Hello, hello, said Humpy Rumpy. Where on earth are you off to at this time of day? 
I have secret plans and clever tricks, said the crocodile. Oh dear, said Humpy Rumpy. I'll bet you're going to do something horrid. The enormous crocodile grinned at Humpy Rumpy and said, I'm going to fill my hungry empty tummy with something yummy, 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 yummy. Uh, what's so yummy? asked Humpy Rumpy. Try to guess, said the crocodile. It's something that walks on two legs. You don't mean, said Humpy Rumpy. You don't really mean you're going to eat a little child? Of course I am, said the crocodile. Oh, you horrid, greedy, grumptious brute, cried Humpy Rumpy. I hope you get caught and cooked and turned into crocodile soup. The enormous crocodile laughed out loud. <laughs> <laughs> then he waddled off into the jungle. Inside the jungle he met Trunky the elephant. Trunky was nibbling leaves from the top of a tall tree and he didn't notice the crocodile at first. So the crocodile bit him on the leg. Ow! said Trunky in his big deep voice. Who did that? Oh it's you! Is it, you beastly crocodile? Why don't you go back to the big brown muddy river where you belong? I have secret plans and clever tricks, said the crocodile. You mean you've nasty plans and nasty tricks, said Trunky. You've never done a nice thing in your life. The enormous crocodile grinned up at Trunky and said, I'm off to find a yummy child for lunch. Keep listening and you'll hear the bones go crunch. Well, that's all for today's story time. I hope you enjoyed it. It's a little bit scary, isn't it? Remember, it is a made up story out of Roald Dahl's imagination. You are obviously coupled uh, his imagination with what he knew about the world. Okay, so you also use those two things. Um, remember the details from the story. The enormous crocodile met two animals today, so remember to include both of those animals in your picture. Okay. Um, the activity is up on assignments in English reading and. Uh, then you can upload your picture and I'll look forward to seeing it later. Alright, have fun.